Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Chisme Time. Hello, hello. Oye, ahora sí, puro chisme. Uh-huh. Los tenemos a todos chiflados con puro chisme aquí. Um, but we actually enjoy it, right, Diana? Yeah, I love Chisme Times. I mean, I love yeah. every other episode, but I love Chisme Times. Yes, yes. It's, this is like our time to just like relax. Ya ven a Diana aquí tomando. ¿Qué estás tomando? Uh, water. Water. Just water. Okay. Okay. See, sí. aquí water. Ah. Cold water. Super cold water. It's so hot. So. Mm. Oh yeah. Is it true that like I don't know if you've heard, but I've heard that if you drink cold water, it melts your fat. <laughs> I don't know if that's true, but okay. We we're starting it off like a little TMI, but when I drink cold water, I have to pee a lot. More than mm-hmm. when I just drink normal, like, or yeah. room temperature water. But then I also heard that it's better to drink room temperature water mm-hmm. than cold water. That's better mm-hmm. for your organs or something. I don't know. I hear so many different things, but I think yeah. cold water has been helping me, like, pee a lot. So you burn fat, Your right? toxins. Yeah. yeah. There you go. Uh-huh. So. Maybe, like, they also say that it's like your metabolism becomes faster. Mm-hmm. I don't know if it's true. You guys let us know if you know anything about this. Um, We've already shared in our last episodes that we are kind of like getting back to our fitness lifestyle again. And pues aquí andamos buscando dietas. (laughs) No, I totally, I, and it's funny because this is actually like, I, I used to do this a long time ago, like when I was like super into working out and mm. oh yeah, so much things. <laughs> mm. And I was like even thinking about doing like personal training and everything. Like I really enjoyed yeah. it. And like I would do the water with the cucumber and mm. the lemon and the mint. And then I would do like strawberries, orange, like infused waters, you know? Yeah. And so this one I actually, you know. Since we're going to be talking about that, about the whole spa water. Oh, look at the I That's infused water. Yeah. <laughs> so I was, I was laughing because, you know, everything that's been going on, and we'll talk yeah. about that too. But I was like, you know what? That I forgot that I used to do like the infused water. Oh. And I didn't know it was called spa water, I guess. But se me antojó y ya este dije, ah, pues voy a hacer uno, like a quick one. I had cucumbers, I had lemon. The only thing mm-hmm. was like the mint, but oh, okay. I mean, it was still pretty good. So I just been doing it and then I just leave, like put it in there in the fridge and then I just keep refilling like la jarra. I just keep refil- like, oh, refilling okay. and refilling it. Mm-hmm. So and it's been good. Like I, I, it's kind of been making me drink more water. So sí, por el yeah. saborcito que le da. Yeah, like the little hint of. Oh, yeah. Y ahí le agrega el azúcar ahí y la Diana. <laughs> No, no sugar. No, no, no. Ah, okay. Ah, no, no, no sugar. La Maria being unhealthy, guys. Sorry. <laughs> no, I mean, that I, would be pretty good, that. but no. Right? No mm-hmm. Do you think, do you think the Splenda, and we're not promoting anything here, guys. Splenda, if you want to sponsor us. <laughs> um, Like, you know how they say that Splenda is way better? Do you think mm-hmm. it's true than regular sugar? I have no idea. I think, like, all uh, sugar is just bad for you, you know? But if Spanda wants to sponsor us, then I'm just kidding. <laughs> well, it's really good. <laughs> um, I yeah, know. I think like, whatever sugar, like, it's maybe one's less bad for you. Um, I don't know. Hmm. We'll have to see. Yeah. Let's, <laughs> let's it. try it. Let's give it a try. Mm-hmm. <laughs> see, it was aquí andamos uh, with our diets. I'm not really dieting. Like, well, Maybe just like a bit, like you know, like your regular stop eating sugar and um, fast yeah. food and pues taquitos. <laughs> um, but you know, like yesterday um, for dinner, my family got tacos, and they called me if they if they and they asked like, hey, you know, like get us tacos, and I was like, and I'm actually proud of myself because because I said no. Can you believe what? that? What? I know. I, I was it. like, 
oye, va a llover porque acabo de decir no. Mi razón, <laughs> ayer andaba medio nublado. <laughs> no, but like, it was like so strange to actually be able to say no because you guys know that I love tacos. Like, I just love them and um, I don't even care if I'm dieting, like I'll eat tacos. But For yesterday sure. I started working out, started getting back into like my fitness routine and um i actually felt pretty good like my body was feeling great um my mood was great and um, we actually had an insightful babies meeting and it was like put us creative ideas floating around and um i don't know like i felt really good that i didn't just like i didn't want to mess that up you know yeah. like with eating something that i love but like it would make me feel maybe a little unbalanced with how yeah. i was feeling Um, but yeah, guys, I said no to tacos. It, it's, I never thought I would. <laughs> I don't know. Like, I don't know if I can still. <laughs> no, I mean, that's good. I'm proud of you because, you know, yeah. when you're like going through like a good vibe or something, and then you, if you were to do that, como que te vas a sacar de onda tú, because you're like, oh, now you're going to feel like the whole guilty that you, broke your diet or not like necessarily broke your diet but that you're eating something that's not really healthy and then you're gonna start feeling guilty about it and then you're gonna kind of go like your energy is kind of like get lower so i'm glad that you you're strong yeah. <laughs> i'm trying i'm trying yeah. but i'll probably eat some tacos like during the weekend guys so <laughs> oh for sure yeah i mean yeah. go for it See, yeah you know i don't I don't I don't like going like super hardcore on my diets. I would do that like back then. Mm -hmm. But now like ever since the whole pandemic happened and todo el stress, you know, going around, I was like sometimes we're just very like hard on ourselves, you know, with all of that. So I was like, no, let's take it easy. And now yeah. with like all of this that I'm doing, it's way different than before. And I actually feel good about it. And, you know, I'm now like I'm now able to say no to tacos, which is so yeah. weird. But that's how great I was feeling, you know. And yeah, I'm, I'm going to keep on doing that because I've got goals um, health wise. And yeah, um, yeah pero. Are you working out? Not working out? How are you? Yeah. I've been like, this week has been good. It's just been like busy. I mean, I feel like I'm always busy, but like, um, it's been good though. Like overall, it's been really good. And I've just been like, kind of doing like my meals and, you know, taking care of myself and everything. So I've been feeling good. Yeah. Sorry, Eddie yeah. just walked in. <laughs> Hi, baby. Hey, shout out to Eddie. <laughs> We have our friend, our amiga, Claudia. Dinos, ¿qué es el chisme de hoy? Hola, this is Claudia in Spanglish. Let's get some insightful chisme time. 20 years after their split, Ben Affleck and Jennifer Lopez have finally tied the knot. I, for one, was always, always a Benefer fan. I remember being like 12 or 13 and thinking they were meant to be, they should get married, they're everything. I couldn't wait for their wedding. And I was pretty distraught when they broke up. So I am like so happy again 20 years later. So here are the deets. The couple got married in Las Vegas. They waited in line. It was a non-traditional type of wedding for like a celebrity, I guess. You know, they have all this money, but they chose to have more of an intimate ceremony. And now they're honeymooning in Europe, living their best life. Another fun fact, J-Lo also changed her name from J -Lo, Jennifer Lopez to Jennifer Affleck. So we're going to call her like jaw <laughs> i don't know we might have to think of a new nickname for her i am so happy for this couple and yeah the only thing though is that jennifer will have to wake up to this back tattoo for the rest of her life but anyway happy for you guys don't forget to stay tuned in for more celeb chisme time with me at claudia in spanglish until next chisme time my insightful babes nos vemos pues la J lo se nos casó <laughs> I'm so, I'm honestly happy. Like, I know a lot of people mm -hmm. were, I don't know, I kept hearing, like, negative things, and then I kept hearing, like, mm -hmm. good things. But I am happy for her. I feel like maybe this was meant to be, you know, after all these years, you know, this rekindled mm -hmm. relationship. But, or maybe it just never died, and, like, they just, it wasn't the right time, I guess. But I'm really happy for them. I I, I love Benefer. Yeah. 
wishing them the best, mm -hmm. really. And I loved how, like, ni avisaron. <laughs> ni avisaron. I know, I love that too. They just I went for so it. Cool. Mm -hmm. I think yeah, that's awesome. And then, like, I was, because I was, like, reading, like, a couple of articles, too, and then um, I was here seeing how, or hearing how um, they just got married there in Vegas, but, like, with people. You know, they were literally waiting in line to get married, and, like, yeah. I'm like, that's cool. Like, they didn't make a big deal out of it. You know, they could have easily rented something out or, like, not have anybody there. But I'm like, how cool. Imagine you're getting married in Vegas, and then, like, next to you is Jennifer Lopez. Oh, Jennifer oh. Affleck, you know, like... <laughs> Yeah, well, we love all of all of it, honestly. Um, J Lo, we wish her the best. A los novios nuevos, um, again, <laughs> and was wishing them the best. Um, about that chisme, we're gonna head back to our topic to the remix chisme, um, and talk a little bit about the whole spa water thing that. You know, I'm actually glad that many of us Latinos started to unite and talk about this. Um, what was your reaction, Diana, when you heard about <laughs> the spa water? I, I don't know. I was just like, I couldn't stop laughing. And I <laughs> I kind of felt bad for her, which sí, I'm probably going to see. Pobrecita, like maybe I want to give her like the benefit of the doubt that she didn't know what it was, you know, or know about it. So yeah. I don't want to be mean and like, you know, throw shade at her and stuff like that. Cause you know, we all make mistakes, but to me, it was funny. Like, like, I'm, I'm like, what, what is she talking about? Like, how is that <laughs> new or how is this like, I don't know, trendy yeah. or whatever. Like that's yeah, how I that, feel. Like that is literally the true definition of representation matters. <laughs> Cause <laughs> like, because we don't have enough representation out there, like on media and the whole Hollywood thing. Many of people like this girl, right? Um, who maybe like you say, she didn't know. Uh, pues no sabe porque there's not enough representation out there. If we had representation out there, you know, sharing about our cultura and our traditions and, you know, then she would have probably learned that we have aguas frescas, right? <laughs> and that's what we call them when you add fruit to your water. Um, so I blame it on that. I blame it on on not having enough representation out there. Mm -hmm. And if we had more of that, pues, people can educate themselves a little more and learn about, you know, the different cultures out there. Um, but, yeah, it was... It was just like, no, ahora que va a pasar? Ahora le van a decir a las tortas burger subs. <laughs> I never know. No, 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 I totally agree with you, you know, there's not a, like enough representation, but like, I feel like that's a, a thing, like, we shouldn't be getting mad, like, yeah, okay, you know, get, feel whatever you want to feel, but then work at that, like, make a difference you know start speaking up start showing like your races start showing like you know what the raza does like start doing all that yeah. and then don't because don't get mad you know if you're not doing it yourself so mm -hmm. i think you're correct on that like we need to be putting stuff like our culture more out there and then like actually show it and um yeah yeah then maybe we could stop from things like that to keep happening because i feel like it's just been going on and going and going and going and um i'm just kind of like ¿Qué va a pasar ya? Like, ¿Cómo hiciste tú las tortas? ¿O ¿Qué, más, <laughs> ¿Qué más puede pasar? I don't know. Just like... No. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We have to keep being a voice. You know, this is why mm -hmm. we're here also at Insightful Base. But again, it's not enough. You know, it's not enough. Let's yeah. all get together and be a voice together. Um, because, yeah, we need to. We need to start speaking up about things like this and like our cultura and our traditions. And we will be back with more chisme. This was just a quick chisme to catch you guys up. Again, we're doing chisme times every single week. So we want to save some chisme for next time. And if you guys want to hear this in Spanish, we will have our chisme time episode in Espanol. So stay tuned for that. Check it out at Insightful Base Podcast. Y pues, let's be a voice.